Ah, Simon, are you ready for Simon Says to No, fly? it's cold. We'll do it out here by the aviary, is that okay? No, we won't. We'll go indoors where it's warm. I'm, fr I'm an old man. I'm frozen. <laughs> where are my boys? Where's my Sunny? Where's my Sky? Look, come on in. Sunny. Sunny. Come on, Sunny Bunny. Come on, Sunny Bunny. We've got to do television now. Yeah. We've got to be good boys. We would just want biscuits. Yeah. Got stuff, Daddy. Welcome, wildlife fans, to episode two of Simon Says. We are in Simon's kitchen. And it's a lot warmer in here than it was walking around the garden, I can tell you that. I want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys for getting involved. We had an incredible, incredible response to our last video. So many of you commented and asked questions. It was really, really great to see, and we're all really excited about that. So hopefully, this week, we can answer some more. I think all the comments you got from last week were your friends. You bribed all your friends <laughs> to ring in, didn't you? You cajoled them to give you stories to make you look good. You just wanted to look good, that's the problem. I just told them all, they're all my friends on Facebook if you look. I'm going to start with um, some patient updates. So we had the three-legged fox. That was quite incredible to see um, a fox with only three legs and it was coping fine. Did you see the release of that? I didn't see the release of it. Um, I've heard it went well and it went back to where it came from, so we'll know its territory. So that's another animal that's gone back out to the wild, hopefully to live as long a life as it can. Great news, yes. And we had the cataract owl, uh, cataract the blinding of the eye on one, in one of our tawny owls. That was quite a major event, that operation. It was. Uh, operations like that require a specialist. Mm -hmm. um, and Claudia Hartley came down from Cambridge specially to do it. She brought her whole team down and all her kit, which is pretty impressive did a great op on that, and that's now recuperating. So the op was a great success, but the costs obviously, although the surgeon gives the time for nothing, are expensive. So you actually funded that entire operation, so that owl is gonna go back out to the wild because of you, and that is pretty damned amazing. So we've got so many questions that unfortunately we cannot answer everyone in this video, otherwise it'd be about four hours long. So I've got a list here of some of the most popular questions we asked. And we'll start with the first. We had from Slarty Bar Fart, Star Panicu. Slarty Bar Fart. Yeah, let's, let, let's pass over that quickly. Uh, okay, okay. I think okay. that's, yes. Star Panicu, Amber Eye, Pretty in Pink have all asked, what's the most extraordinary or weird or kind of unique animal you've ever rescued? I suppose one of the most dangerous rescues we've ever done was with Sean last year when there was a deer down a 10 foot gap, very narrow gap. We had no means of getting to it um, and we had to be very ingenious on how we did it and it, in the end we did it with a lasso type system but we had one chance. If that animal had fallen out of that or something had gone wrong, it would have been a disaster. Stuart B, Ingeborg and Ravag, Snooker 48, Debbie Ann Marsden and Donovan Pereja have all asked, um, what made you set up this charity? What made you go from caring about animals to wanting to really do something to save them? Cutting a very long story short, always wanted to be a vet, far too thick, academically challenged. So when I came out of London, which nearly finished me off, to be honest, um, I started the charity up, or got the, grew the charity quite dramatically from where it was when I was in London, um, and got back to what I really love. And I love the rescue of everything I do here. My raison d'etre is to be able to rescue an animal that would probably die if we didn't, get it better, and get it back out to the wild and that just fuels me every single minute of every day. Freya Davison asks, what's the best way you can make your garden safe for wildlife? All I would say, and it might sound very off the wall, is to think you're an animal. What hazards could you come up against? What could go wrong? What could happen? So if you walk around your garden thinking you're an animal, just think carefully. Do you want a fence where an animal could get its head stuck in? Do you want a fence that goes down in a V which causes massive problems for animals because they get their neck stuck in them? Chaining fences are bad news. There's so many things, but just think like an animal. Um, that's probably why I work so well, because I think like an animal. Which animal? An elephant? Depends what mood I'm in. It's shout out time. I know it's your favorite time, but you want to shout out all the people that deserve a thank you from our contributors and comments and fans. So Simon, have you got the list? I've got the list, but I really wish you'd brief me in this because I can never pronounce these <laughs> names. I think everybody should ring in and tell us how to spell their names. So apologies, as always, for my mispronunciation. And also a lot of it's to do with Elliot's writing, which isn't the best writing in the book. So we've got the official Ali is number one. Thank you. Manny Calavera. Thank you. 
Barbara Tashudi, thank you. Fox Play Games, I can pronounce that one. Easy. Tian and Gavin, thank you. And Thomas Payne, thank you. So lots of thank yous, some of which I could pronounce, some of which I couldn't. <laughs> so thanks for watching. This has been the second Simon Says. Thank you for all your questions, all your comments. It's amazing, amazing to hear from you. Um, we're going to do this uh, next month. If you'd like to see it more often, maybe let us know in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe also and share all of our videos because we think they're amazing. We can really do what we do because of your help, sometimes your donations, and sometimes because you care helps us to care as well. So, incredible thing to do. Let's see if we can make this a regular feature um, and drive it forward into the future. See you next time, guys. That was very American. That was see you next time, guys. That's pathetic. <laughs> I mean, we're British here. How would you do it? We're very British here. Now, I'd let that run, that, but I just said it was just quite a, funny. A I just, wave, I just it would be, you know, thank you. Thank you so much to my adoring public, and my fans, and all those people who hate me. <laughs> me well, so thank you, the whole operation, and that's my telephone. Hello. I'm never off duty. <laughs> <laughs> Take 17 for this one. <laughs> Yes, I'm doing television. What do you want? <laughs>